All right, now we're going to go ahead and create a PPTP VPN connection or Windows VPN connection. So uh, what we want to do is set up a connection or network. And you get to the network and sharing center from the whole panel. And we want to, uh, we have lots of different options here. We want to connect to a workplace. So you click next. Uh, we want to create a new connection. So we'll click next again. And we definitely want to choose the Use My Internet Connection VPN Adapter. So we're just going to go ahead and put in our IP address that we're going to try to connect to. And we're going to call it our Office VPN. Oh, and since we already have that one, we'll just go ahead and give it a new number there. There we go. And we'll put in our username and our password. Don't always have to have a domain. Most of the time you don't for a PPTP connection. It goes ahead and it creates the connection. Uh, we're going to choose skip. And we're going to tell it to go ahead and create the connection anyway. Which it now does. And now we're going to go into the properties of that connection. So we click on back in our sharing center. We click on manage network connections. And then when the box comes up, we will go ahead and go to the properties of our new connection. And we're going to go ahead and click on the security. And we're going to uh, take note that it does use the required secured password. You can change that, though. However, if you're having trouble connecting, which sometimes happens from Vista and Windows 7, under the Networking tab, you want to choose uh, change it from Automatic to PPTP. And the reason you want to do that is because it'll connect faster if you tell it directly that that's the type you want. There are two other types of connections as well. In this particular case, we're going to use the more popular PPTP type of connection. Now, if you double click on TCPIP version 4, and then you click on the Advanced button, and you have a, an option to uncheck Use Default Gateway on Remote Network. And what this does is it splits the tunnel. So when you're doing internet surfing, if you uncheck this, it'll just go directly out to the internet. If you leave it checked, it'll go through your office before you go out to the internet, which will, of course, slow you way down. And it will also leave a record of wherever it is that you go on the internet. So after the, you're done there, you click OK, you click OK, and that is how you create a VPN connection in Windows.